Dan, uh, Alicia from Newcastle asks, Dan, what do you love most about most and least about playing Heath? Is Newcastle like Geordie? Geordie Shaw. Newcastle. Oh, Is that the, the Geordie Shaw? That. Hello, the Geordie Shaw. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and please ask Lisa the same about Bianca. So what do you like and dislike the most about playing Heath? I like Heath's discovery. Um, I like Heath discovering emotions for, this, for, for the first time because... I liken him to an ape trying to get food <laughs> out of the rock, out of a rock at a zoo. You know, they're always like, they're just hitting it really hard. And sometimes, no. I think no. Irene has actually referred to you as a monkey. Yeah. As well as Fizgiz, which I is love- her new favourite one. <laughs> Men struggle with emotion at the best of times. So, Heath discovering new emotions usually turns to frustration. It means... Uh, <laughs> Hulk smash. And, and what, do I, what do I hate? I, I, I hate when Heath's heartbroken because it ends up <laughs> i'm depressed for two weeks after it because i really feel sorry for the guy but um yeah and Heath, i like Heath's um humor that's one thing i really wanted to inject into the character because um initially he was just kind of the tough guy but i think that aussie larrikin side is something i really like playing with Heath. Mm, the jokes are, oh yeah i like the jokes um bianca i love bianca's sort of fire um and when she believes something is wrong, she's not afraid of, of saying it's wrong and standing up for it. She's also... Is that Lisa or... Both. I was about to say, wow, this sounds so <laughs> sim- similar. Uh, I also love that um, she's quite selfish. Like, no. <laughs> she's quite selfish and impulsive and can be quite rude. Um, but hey, no one's perfect. Heath loves that. But she's very defensive. Of the people that she loves, she will fight very hard for them. She will look after them. She's a strong lady. Boom. That is for sure. No, Heath, Heath always, there's always scenes where he's like, oh, she's doing my head in. But, um, <laughs> but he loves that. Like, he loves the, the, the power and that she's not just some chick from Mangrove River that's a pushover. He loves that deep down. She's got an education. She's got some attitude. <laughs> um, next one. We should never be ghetto. <laughs> Lorraine, for both of us, after filming emotional and or heartbreaking scenes, how do you relax to get yourself out of character? Great question, because it's so important, Lorraine, as an actor, actress, um, to to really have that ability to step out. Otherwise, you will lose your mind, especially with all the emotional stuff. So I like to play basketball, um, go to the gym, um, watch sport, you know, just hang out with my mates, that sort of social thing. Lisa? Yeah, I kind of, I think physical exercise is a good way to um, break that mindset. Some Torture is some. what you do, do you say? Letha's a triathlete now. Um. Training for a half Ironman. That's why I'm a bit docile this morning. But uh, yeah, I very much like to, it's a sort of a form of meditation is just get the, the happy endorphins flowing because I can, yeah, it, with these kind of storylines, they can go on for weeks and weeks and weeks and you're in a very dark place for a very long time. And yeah, you just need to make sure you know when you go home, it's your time. If you've ever had a fight and you know how exhausted you are after it, imagine that for weeks on end. At work. There you Every go. Every time you go to work, you, you, I suddenly start feeling, why don't I want to go to work today? It's such a good job. And then I realise why. It's because I'm doing miserable things all day. <laughs> but it's okay. Ebb and flow. What's next? Oh, Dan. Okay. It's like a lucky dip. <clears throat> Alia asks, Dan, seeing as you are a Ewing, did you watch Dallas? And if you got offered a role in the remake, which role would you want? I don't uh, understand. J.R. Ewing. No, I've, um, I always have this reference. It's a little bit before my time. Good question, though, because I always get it thrown at me by uh, the more senior fans, shall we say. Um, my uncles are constantly joking about these J.R. Ewing and Dallas and all this, this show. Um, and I'm now aware that they've done a, they're doing a remake or have done a remake. I have no idea which character I played. To be honest with you, I could probably just play Dan Ewing, play myself. Like being John Malkovich, being Dan Ewing. But no, I've never seen it. Sorry. Oh, no. It's <laughs> going to happen, isn't it? There is going to be a reality TV show. <laughs> the Ewing. Being, <laughs> being Dan Ewing. <laughs> just me sitting there watching basketball all day. <laughs> Are you going to do something? No. I'm going to eat a steak. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to eat some steak. <laughs> 